the Lord, everybody. Come on, won't you raise to your feet? Come on, won't you raise to your feet? As we prepare to go before the throne of grace, why don't you take God, your flesh, take him your anxiety and your doubt. And let's pray together, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pentecost Sunday. This is the Sunday we celebrate the birth of the church 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. 120 were gathered in an upper room waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit, for the birthing of the church. And so this is the Sunday we celebrate the birth of the church. So we want to ask those of you who would love to come to the altar to pray with us and join the worship and praise team and those of you who just want to come and pray for your family your friends we want to invite you to just come come on to the altar come on to the altar we're going to ask pastor neely to come and he's going to lead us in prayer today but we want to turn all of our attention toward the lord we want to give him all of our focus today we want to take our minds off every distraction everything that would be hurting us everything that would harm us everything that would keep us from having an authentic worship experience we want you to come today and we want you to turn your mind toward the lord amen we've tried to set an atmosphere so you can take your mind off of every distraction in your life everything that's going on that the enemy is trying to to do in your family to do in your neighborhood to do in your life we want you to turn toward god this morning we've been fasting and praying for 40 days and this is the end of the fast amen So right now, we want you to turn your focus. We want you to shift, turn your attention to the Lord. Pastor Neely is going to come and lead us in prayer. And then after that, you're free to join us and stay here at the altar and worship with us. The worship and praise team is going to lead us in some fabulous songs to give God glory, to give God honor. And I tell you, one of the best ways to take your mind off of things that are bothering you is to turn it toward the Lord, just to give him all of your attention. Just say, matter of fact, sometimes you just need to tell the Lord, Lord, yes, I'm going through some stuff, but I'm turning it all over to you. I'm, somebody's looking for a miracle today. Somebody's looking for God to heal a situation. Somebody's looking for God to do something awesome, wonderful, and great. And I'm a living witness that he is able. Come on, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Brooks. I'll pray with me church father we come before you this morning in the precious and almighty name of Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus that you died on the cross for all of our sins we thank you that you are risen literally and bodily and gloriously from among the dead. We thank you that you represent us in heaven at the right hand of God. You are our intercessor. But we thank you that on the day of Pentecost, you sent God the Holy Spirit to come from heaven to give birth to the church to not only come upon us but to indwell us and to live in us and to empower us oh God we thank you for the work and ministry of God the Holy Spirit we thank you for the way that he has kept us Lord strengthened us in moments of deep deep temptation when we were walking Lord near the abyss he we yielded to him and he enabled us and empowered us and strengthened us to be able to walk with you. We claim nothing here today in our own strength. We thank you for your work and your ministry. 
but we are in need of a touch, Lord, from you. We ask that you would do it again. Would you bring revival and renewal again? Would you fill us with fresh power, Holy Spirit? So we, uh, we love you, Lord. We, we, we thank you and bless your name. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you would do something fresh and new in this day and age because we are in desperate need of you. So we thank you and glorify you and honor you today in the precious and almighty name of Jesus, the name that is above every name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We invite you just to stay here at the worship. Those of you who feel like you need to go back and get a seat, you can, but those of you who don't mind just staying at the altar and worshiping with the worship and praise team and lifting up the name of the Lord, uh, we want to do that today. As people come in, we want them to find us worshiping, find us having the same DNA as the church in the book of Acts. Yeah. All of us gather together praying, all of us gather together worshiping. Matter of fact, can you reach over to the person next to you and tell them worship with me? Come on, tell the, tell the other person next to you, he's so worthy of our worship. Hallelujah. Let your power fall. When your name is called, prove the doubters wrong. You're still mighty and strong. in the room. Let your power fall. When your name is called, prove the doubters wrong.
you to revive us again cause you have won again you have won again you defeated the enemy one more time you did it again Lord you Somebody say, oh, yeah. Come on, clap those hands in the room. So
your hands and open your mouth and praise the name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Somebody crown them with your praise. Come on, open your mouth. There should be a sound in the room right now. Come on, crown them with your praise. Crown them with your praise. Crown them with your praise. Come on.